What's up, everybody? Feels Bad here, and we are back with another episode with your Edmonton Oilers. Sorry, I had to just my chair real quick, get comfortable, because we are going to be changing up some things. So, first off, you may notice, well, you might, not, not you may notice, I'm just going to show you that the lines are a little bit different. So, you're going to be saying, well, what made you think Castle Smirnoff and Krebs, and what happened to Weaver the Beaver? Well, my explanation is, they all like each other. So, Best locker room chemistry is Castles. Second most is Smirnov. Krebs and Castles are both there for Mikhail Smirnov. And it's Smirnov and Krebs for Castles. So they all love each other. You know, maybe they'll get some good scoring and good growth out of them by putting them together. Beautiful. Um, Benjamin Bomeister, hopefully Connor McDavid and Taylor Hall can help him out. Since he's only a ripe age of 19 years of age. So Jalen Weaver, he's actually playing his position now with Jamal Stepniak and Nolan Foote, who wasn't supposed to be here. And Ostep Stefan down here with Patrice Bergeron on that one-year deal with uh, Karel Maximov. Defensively, haven't changed anything. Power play and penalty kill haven't changed anything. So what I want to move on to next is goaltending has just bit horrendous. And I advance the day. Thank you, EA. So, goaltending has just absolutely been horrendous. We need to change it. Because, look, 9, Lundy, Lundy's old, right? Don't forget about the king. But I just really think it comes down to scoring. I mean, 3-2-3 three, three goals against. That's just, that's just not, that's just not, it's just not, <laughs> that just ain't it, Chief. So, we are listed as a champion team. I really do want to compete for a cup this year. And I did some pre-scouting. So this team, hopefully, this goalie is on a one-year deal. We are going to be going after Martin Jones. Now, hear me out. I originally was going to go for um, Ned Ned Javoric because he has like a 940 save percentage and seven wins in the first nine games with the Wild. But I just thought it was more because he'll probably get a pay drop next year. He only has one year nice and he is an elite goaltender in my eyes martin jones is an elite goaltender um and i think the trade value is affordable we are going to be have to they are a rival and we are going to be also i forgot to mention they are a rebuilding team martin jones is just going to be wasting his career there and i'm not going to let one of my favorite goalies just rot in hell over there so um yeah we're going to send over soros be under the league cap. Okay, we can change that. Um, well, we're going to give you more players, but... Okay, who's someone that I can get rid of that has cap? Like, just one mil of cap, at least. Um... Oh, right here. Perfect. Take him. Just... T okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, this is going to be a... Mother freaking. Mm. Okay, well, well, we'll make it work. Let's look at some of the prospects that we want to get rid of. So, to break this down, I don't think Jimmy Dean is worth getting rid of yet. E this might be your last year, Jimmy Dean. Last year, I think, if you don't perform. To recover keeping um, for now. I think he's worth keeping for now. But Payer, I don't think he's going to grow. Hunter Chebisu, he was the Polish player, right? Yeah. Um, no Noel Volanti, these are just low elites that are just... They're, they're just not going to grow. So I'm looking to dump these guys off. Derby. Kevin Derby. Oh, my God. <sighs> Darby, Kevin Darby. No, no, no. We are going to keep him. We are. If you think that we are getting rid of Michelle LaBelle, you're fucked up. You're just fucked up. Michelle LaBelle is making this show. Okay, we're keeping Michelle LaBelle. I love that name. Uh, Kevin Darby. No, no, no. Chibisu. Yes, I know you have too many players, so let's just give me just give me some shit players. It's fine. <laughs> Play fair and give me some freaking players. 
Ah, uh, that was just poorly bad humor. That was just bad. We'll take you. Beautiful. Uh, we'll take you. We'll take you. We'll take you. Okay, so... Soros, Simbukarov, and three low elites for Martin Jones and just roster players. Will it go through? No. No, 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 no. So let's get rid of Chebisu. Let's get rid of Fair. We don't need him. We'll add in maybe a second to this deal. Uh, or maybe a third. So if we add in a third, will it go through? No. Okay. Okay. Okay, things are happening. I don't really want to give up a second, but do we have to give up a... Will the second, will it go through? Oh, my God. What? Why, San Jose? Why are you going to ruin his career in there? Why? Why? Looks like we have to give a first. We'll give up our first. It's risky business to do this, but we'll give up our first. He is an elite goaltender. Will it go through? No. Wow. Okay. I, 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 I'm not overpaying. I'm not, I'm not doing that. If they think that I'm going to do that, they got me fucked up. I'm not doing that. We will go for Nedrasilic. Uh, I can't even pronounce his name. I know I just butchered it. Wow, what are they doing? Yeah, I know, because it's, it's Noodle. I'm calling him Noodle. I've called him Noodle for a while. Nedrasilic, yeah, that's how you say his name. The only problem is I don't like the four years. We could, we'll be able to trade him. This might just go through. Um... I kind of want to keep Soros, though. If it's not that much trade value, we'll keep Soros. Um, and kind of run with the, both of them as the one-two punch. Sorry, King. Um, I forgot about Greer. Right, or whatever. Where, where, um, wait, what am I doing? Oh, God, long day. All right. Um, We are going to add Kevin Dur Darby. No. Yes. Wait. There was someone else. Uh, pair. Yeah, okay. Ca okay, okay, okay. Under the league cap. God, I love when it says that. Why? Why is everyone else poorly managed and not able to have enough cap? I just don't get it. I really don't. How have you been playing? I like you. He has one year left. I'm not a... Okay, he has one year left. I'm not opposed to dumping him off and then getting a defenseman back, potentially. Maybe for less money. Just to kind of work the system. Hold on. Let me sort by... Overall. No, that's, that's too much money. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's going to be like DeMello, Johansson, Philippe Johansson, Dylan DeMello. Oh, he's real. I remember him. Uh, but we, we, we'll, we'll go for DeMello here. So Noodle, DeMello, we could probably get a pick. Probably should get a pick since we're giving up prospects that I just don't want anymore. For their first, oh, I would love their first in this trade. We might even be able to get more, to be completely honest. Maybe a first for next year. That might be too much, but we'll see. So three low elites, Nick Letty for Noodle, DeMello, and a first for this year and a first for next year. Will it go through? No. Can we replace the first for next year for, with the second from next year? Will it go through? Oh, my God. Will it go through? And it does. On behalf of the Minnesota Wild organization, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out on the ice. Okay, so we got rid of some players that, yes, you know, it's pretty sad to see them go, but 
I think that it really is going to help out our squadron in the long run, especially with the goaltending issue. So, Dylan DeMello, get in there. Welcome to the squadron. Uh, goaltending. Soros, I'm sorry, Lundy. Sorry. We will keep you up here, though, Lundy. We'll keep you up here. We'll make Nedjahovic the starter. I, I just hope they don't switch because he's technically... I mean, like, he's playing well, so let him... Let Noodle run the show, right? Let him run the show. Lundy, we're going to keep you on the team, because if we go for a long cup run, you need to be on this team. Um, I think that's enough chitter-chatter. Uh, let's try to save this franchise now, shall we? So, the new lines, the new goalie acquisition, will it make a difference? I am hoping so. Let's go right past the Minnesota Wild game with our, hopefully our new goalie starts. So, up against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Shootout loss. I'm okay. We got a point. Against the New Jersey Devils, we get a loss. Great start. <laughs> really making me feel smart in my decision. All right. We won 6-3 against the Colorado Avalanche. Against the Chicago Blackhawks, we get a win. And against Minnesota, we get a win. Oh, we are, we are, whew, we are on a little bit of a winning streak. Contain, our, contain yourselves, boys, because our players are streaking across the street. They are streakers. <laughs> um, that's inappropriate. Anyway, thank you for Crystal Light for sponsoring this video. Just wanted to just put that out there real quick. <laughs> no, I don't actually have a sponsorship with Crystal Light. But I've, if you, I heard and I was taught as a young lad, if you believe hard enough, your dreams will come true. And my dream is to be sponsored by Crystal Light on that hockey podcast. So... We are 8 and 10. Hopefully, we don't start losing a lot. Oh, Dylan DeMello, why you gotta beat the. Why you got to beat the. Beat the. Against the Anaheim Ducks. Loss. Okay. Got stop. To stop the bleeding. Beat the Knights. The, the, oh, God. Jake Gardner. No, I don't want that trash. Oh, we gotta win. But then we lost Arizona. Come on, we gotta go back on that win streak, baby. Get comfortable with your line mates. There we go. There we go. Oh, Duke Gavo. Oh, my God. He's living it down there. Dmitry Dmitriev. Some of the names I have for these players are just freaking unreal. So, what I think I'm going to do now is I am going after... Well, not after the Philly game because I'm still talking. All right, this is a good stopping point. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sim to the trade deadline. And if anything interesting happens, I'll jump back in. But if not, I will see you there. Alright boys, we are back at the trade deadline. We are currently in a playoff spot with 69 points. We are in a wild card spot. McDavid has 34 goals and 35 assists for 69 points in 64 games. So hopefully that means that we're actually performing well. <sighs> uh, 24 goals, 36 assists, minus 1. Plus 10, you know McDavid. Uh, Benjamin Bomeister. Nine goals, 21 assists, plus two. Okay. Payton Krebs, eight goals, 16 assists, and plus four. Oy vey, why are you minus eight? What's going on there? Smirnoff? I just gave you, uh, you know, some uh, big boy money there. Right there, some big bucks. This is minus eight shit. Um... No. <laughs> Can't be doing shit like that, but he has... <laughs> His point totals fucking make me laugh all the time. He's a freaking one goal and 29 assists. Like, Jesus. And then Toby Castles has been lighting it up with 32 goals and 28 assists. So actually, the dynamic duo of Smirnov and Castles. They can score together, but they can't keep the puck out of the net. Wonderful. Jalen Weaver, minus six, yikes. Jamal Stepniak, oof. Nolan Foot. I hate you. <laughs> Ostep Stefan, uh... Mr. Selkie with a minus four. What the hell is that? Mr. Selkie. What the frick is that? Alright, whatever. Kirill Maximov, my... Ooh, jeez, okay. Oi. Well, good. I'm glad Dylan DeMello is freaking plus three, and God knows how. Legendary. Who do you like playing with? Larson? You do like playing with Larson. You like playing with a couple... All right, I mean, I guess we're not changing it, but, um, J. 
just stinks because I got a gate. Can you just go to defense? Okay. I kind of gave you big boy money, and I kind of gave you big boy money, and you big boy money, and yeah. Well, not the third line variant, but oh, fully thy. Uh, scratched, Lundy. How, how you feeling? Okay, you okay? Yeah, I know you're sad you're scratched, but you don't really compare by ice time, so. Oh, you missed Busnevich. Too bad he's a bust. Anywho. Um. Yeah, I think we just sim to the end of the year. We do have Minnesota's pick for this year, so. Okay. They're in a spot right now. They could fall out, though. Fall out. But wait a second. Hold on. This is what I don't understand, right? They don't have a goalie. Like, I took their goalie. Like, who's starting a net? Freaking no-name Joe Schmo? Like, who's starting a net? Oh, my. Wow. Wow. What a, that's just... that's no, There's no superstar on this team, but it's just a depth. Hold the depth. Alex Lyon. And Alexis Gravel. What the frick? Oh, this game is so freaking broken. I mean, Alex Lyon did save, what, like a hundred... Wait, wasn't he the goalie in the AHL that had an insane number amount of um, saves? I think he had like 100 saves, something like that. Something ridiculous. Uh, I forgot to show you our goalies to see how Noodle is doing. Let's see. I mean... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Did I click view lines? I did. Oh, my God. I really hate when I do that because it's just... I, I just look so unprofessional. I mean, on the podcast, I'm pretty unprofessional. But uh, I try to look a little bit more professional on YouTube. So... Alex Nejahovic, um, yeah, he hit 30 games played 43, yeah, so actually he might be getting more games now, I'm not sure, but yeah, see the difference, 9-3-4 versus 9-0-8-2-7-6, it's 9-3-4-2-0-3 with four shutouts, I mean they both have the same amount of shutouts, but also the winning percentage, like you look, 30 games played, 20 wins. 43 games played, 18 wins. Like, UC Soros, get the hell out of you. You're trash. Trash. We just gotta make the playoffs, and then we'll let Noodle do the rest. So, let us sim and cross our fingers and hope that we do indeed make the playoffs. Get the hell out of here. Why'd I go to August? Alright, we're going to April. Here we go. The controller is down. Let's see how they're doing. Please make the yoffs. Be upsetting if we didn't make the go. So, yeah, we go. Shoot, shut out win. There we go. Winning against the Blues. They're crying for their mamas. Lose to Buffalo. Minnesota. Come on, we have to be Minnesota. Thank you. We beat Minnesota 5 2. Colorado, we lose. Nashville, we win. Yeah, Boston. We win in OT. Very nicely done. Dallas. Can we beat Dallas? Tyler Sagan's a bust. No, I'm kidding. I love Tyler Sagan. Get the hell out of my face. I need to see what the happens. Okay, we lose 3-1. to one. Fantastic. Freaking time. Oh, there go. Oh, God. Arizona. Please, Calgary. No. Okay, we beat Calgary. Los Angeles. Pl well, at least we got a point. We got a point. Duke Gabo's having a freaking circus. Dude, loving it here. We beat the Blues again. Kick them in the shins. Lose to Arizona. Can we beat Vancouver? No, we lose to Vancouver. Oh, we beat Vegas. Come on. Oh, we beat Anaheim. Please tell me. Beat Winnipeg. We lose to Winnipeg. I'm not looking at the top bar. I don't know what's going to happen, boys. Sorry if I can't really hear my voice as well. I just don't want to know what happens. Okay, okay. So did we make the playoffs? We did. Oh, my God, we did. By the skin of our teeth, by two points, we made the playoffs. Holy. No, by one point. Minnesota missed. Lottery pick. Minnesota missed. Very nicely done. I mean, they, they were expected to miss. Um, made the playoffs by literally one point. Literally that last game against beating the Blues twice, I think it was, in this month. Beating them in regulation here and beating them in regulation here. That's why we got into the playoffs is because we beat them in regulation twice. That was, that's the reason. That was huge. Huge wins, and your Edmonton Oilers are going to be in the playoffs, yeah. Let's see how everyone did this year, and we will end the video there. So, Taylor Hall, 36 goals, 44 assists. Very nicely done. 
Connor McDavid, 38 goals and 48 assists. Very nicely done. Benjamin Bomeister, 12 goals and 34 assists. Very nicely done. Krebs, 9 goals, 22 assists. Impressive. Smirnoff, 3 goals and 37 assists. Minus 8. Uh, Toby Castle, 41 goals, 31 assists. Toby Castle, 41 goals. Oh, he's a 90 overall. Oh, my God. You must love Mikhail Smirnoff. Yes, you do. You are horny for Mikhail Smirnoff. Very nicely done. Toby Castles. Jalen Weaver. Weaver Beaver. Weaver the Beaver. Minus 8. Very nicely done. No, I'm kidding. Uh, 14 goals, 28 assists. Okay. 8 goals, 18 assists. Minus 8. 13 goals, 22 assists. Not bad for the third line. Oh, it's... Ostep Stefan. Grew to a 78, 5 goals, 16 assists, minus 8. Patrice Bergeron, Mr. Selkie, hit a minus 6. Very nicely done. Just, why? What? Yeah, he's dropping like flies. 13 goals, 13 assists. Karel Maximov, 9 goals, 10 assists, minus 14. Yeesh. Darnell Nair, 6 goals, 15 assists. Klingberg, 8 goals, 35 assists. Clefbaum, 6 goals, 18 assists. 1 goal, 10 assists for Larson. 4 goals and 9 assists for Dylan DeMello. There we go. Jimmy Dean, two goals, 10 assists. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go to goal ending. 927 save percentage. He only beat three more games. What the frick? Well, you finished off the year strong, Soros, but Noodle's getting the start in the offs. So, indeed, that is going to end this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you wish. Hit that bell button so you know when I post. I have my Twitter is in the link in the description and um, I'll see you boys in the next one.